Hi, this is Episode 3 of Global Change Biology Bioenergies podcast series. I'm Jody Endress, Senior Attorney at the University of Illinois Energy Biosciences Institute. Global Change Biology Bioenergy is a bi-monthly journal that exists to promote the understanding of the interface between biological sciences and the production of fuels directly from plants, algae, and waste. The journal places a special emphasis on how bioenergy systems help to mitigate global change. For more information, please visit our website at www.gcbbioenergy.org. Join us now while we discover exciting new findings about bioenergy through interviews with experts in the field. Today, we're discussing a framework for evaluating biofuels in order to address ethical issues surrounding the rapidly evolving race to develop biofuels. We will be talking with Professor Joyce Tate, who is chair of the Nuffield Council on Bioethics Working Party on Biofuels and scientific advisor to the Inogen Center at Edinburgh University, about an article called The Ethics of Biofuel, which can be found in Global Change Biology Bioenergy's June 2011 issue, edited by Professor Joyce Tate. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to talk to us today about the Nuffield Council's report, Dr. Tate. But before we delve into the findings of the report, I wonder if you could tell us just a little bit about your professional background as leader of the Council's report, as well as generally about the Nuffield Council and its work. Yes, thank you very much, and thank you for asking me for, for doing this, uh, this podcast. Um, I, I have a background very broadly in mainly in life science and innovation, and um, I come to this from a background that originally as a pharmaceutical chemist but having spent most of my career working in issues like risk analysis and risk governance and um, devising policy uh, incentives to encourage innovation in a way that also encourages safety and, and so on. So um, I, I've, I've spent a lot of time uh, think, thinking about the, the kinds of policies that one puts in place and the way policy can sometimes stop off particular avenues of innovation uh, and alternative policies might have advanced it more effectively. So um, generally speaking, based on the research I do, um, the, we end up giving advice to policymakers on um, how, they can, how they can manage the policy and innovation environment. And about the Nuffield Council? And the, the Nuffield Council on Bioethics, um, it, it's an independent body. It's based in the United Kingdom. And it has an international uh, reputation in influencing policy and promoting debate on bioethics. It's funded by the, uh, the Nuffield Foundation along with the uh, Medical Research Council and the BBSRC. And uh, it, uh, it, it has a variety of, approach, of, of reports on its website looking at a wide range of different aspects of uh, innovation to do with life sciences and biology and the ethics of uh, these particular technologies and with, with a very uh, sort of sensible common sense kind of approach to uh, making sure that the ethical standards are protected while also encouraging uh, innovation. They, they have a, a broad and, and very um, considered supportive approach to innovation in life science. And Professor Tate, I really now can understand why you were chosen as the leader of this particular uh, report because of your multidisciplinary background in both the sciences and policy that we see so prevalently needed among our leaders and policymakers, both in Great Britain and, and across the globe. Yes, I, and I enjoy it. Let's delve right into the report then. In reading the report, the readers introduced to this concept that biofuels have, you know, for the past 10 years been seen as uh, as a way to mitigate climate change, to make sure that countries such as the United States achieve energy independence, and also for rural development. But you and, and your fellow members of the council conclude that, that policymakers also have to consider moral values, uh, along with just biofuels policy to mitigate climate change or advance rural development. And some of those moral values that the council identifies are things like human rights or ensuring just rewards for people particularly in the underdeveloped and developing world, and also protecting the environment that humans live in. Mm -hmm. 
But then the council goes on to identify five principles that should be applied to biofuels development. And, and the first, and, and perhaps the most widely debated at the moment, is that biofuels production can't be at the, at the expense of human rights. For example, yes. access to food and water. And I was wondering if you could just tell us a bit more about the council's recommendations on how this can actually be achieved in biofuels policy, this protection of human rights. 